students today in biology kingdom protista you will learn about algae which are plant like protists first of all image of algae is shown that they are green in color algae plant like protists algae its singular is alga they are photosynthetic protists it means that they are able to carry out photosynthesis process to prepare food carrying out probably 50 to 60% of all the photosynthetic uh, process on earth plants account for most of the rest that is plants are also included algae differ from the plants in their sex organs which are unicellular one celled zygote is not protected by the parent body zygote as you know they are formed by the union of sperm and eggs a plant zygote on the other hand grows into a multicellular embryo that is well protected by parental tissue next image of algae is shown algae exhibits or shows a remarkable range of growth forms some are unicellular one celled others are filamentous filament like uh, their filaments are composed either of distinct cells or cenocytes cenocytes or multinucleate having so many nuclei structures that lack cross walls that is they don't have separations cenocyte means lack of cross walls they have no separations uh, but others like seaweeds they are also found in uh, water aquatic environment they are multicellular and intricately branched or arranged in leaf like extension forms now there is a definition of thallus a plant body that is not differentiated or specialized into true roots stem, stems and leaves and they lack xylem and phloem vascular tissues are said to be thallus in addition to green pigment chlorophyll a like so many uh, groups of algae are shown there are red algae green algae in addition to green pigment chlorophyll a yellow and orange carotenoids they are all photosynthetic pigments involved in uh, photosynthesis other algal phyla possess a variety of other pigments like xanthophylls phycoerythrin they are important in photosynthesis as they are also pigments classification into phyla is largely based on their pigment composition there are so many algal varieties in this world uh, in different environments aquatic and they are maybe green algae brown algae red algae uh, now there comes what is an algae they contain several groups of living things which are similar to plants and they are also containing pigments algal life cycle shows extreme variations or changes but all algae except members of the phylum rhodophyta as the name suggests rhodophyta is red algae they have forms with flagellated motile cells moving cells in at least one stage of their life cycles almost all algae are aquatic when actively growing algae are restricted or limited to damp wet environments like oceans salt water fresh water ponds lakes and streams hot springs polar ice moist soil trees and even rocks so you can see that algae are living in so vast kind of habitats next comes euglenoids as the name suggests its members will be euglena uh, they are having flagella euglenoids have, are at various times been classified in the plant kingdom with algae because they have green pigment chlorophyll and in animal kingdom also protozoans based on their molecular data that is uh, what kind of molecules of their bodies made up of euglenoids are thought to be closely related to zooflagellates because they are also animal like and they have flagella they are plant like in their pigments however some photosynthetic euglenoids lose their chlorophyll when they are placed in dark or grown in dark and obtain their nutrients 
heterotrophically by ingesting organic matter from their surroundings it means heterotrophic means they are not able to make their own food only in the presence of light uh, they are able other species of euglenoids are always colorless and are heterotrophic that is they lack pigments and so they are not able to make their own food picture of euglena is shown they are the members of euglenoids and they have flagella then comes brown algae brown algae includes the giants of the protist kingdom all brown algae are multicellular they range from a few centimeters to approximately 75 meters in length the largest brown algae they are called kelps they are tough leathery in appearance they possess leaf like structures called blades stem like structure called stipes and root like structures anchoring uh, hold fast which helps them in attachment brown algae are common in cooler marine waters especially along rocky coastlines seashores and in intertidal zones where there are water currents or tides next comes uh, you can see the picture of brown algae that they have pigments due to which they are brown in color next comes red algae the multicellular body form of red algae is commonly composed of complex interwoven interconnected filaments they are delicate soft and feathery a few red algae are flattened sheets of cells that is they have different kind of body forms most multicellular red algae attach to rocks or other substances by an attachment structure at their base called basal hold fast some red algae incorporate or deposit calcium carbonate in their cell walls they take it from oceans and take part in building coral reefs along with coral animals